Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Sunday again. Shirley Davis here. <laughs> anyway, today's I want to talk about learned helplessness. It's something that uh, I just recently learned about myself. I mean, I I seen it in action, but didn't know what it was. Um, to give you, a, I'll give you an example of learned helplessness. Before we talk about people, we'll talk about elephants. Okay. If you take an elephant who's maybe in the wild or, or not trained, an untrained elephant, and you tie him to a tree with a strong rope, a big tree with a strong rope, he will fight to get free um, for a long time. But then finally he will accept his situation. And, you know, he's like, oh, well, I guess I'm going to do a tree forever. And then when the owner of the elephant takes off the rope the elephant doesn't realize it doesn't understand that it can run away now and it just stays, stands there and he, uh, the owner all he got to do is take that elephant next to that tree it just stands there it doesn't try to escape that's pretty much what happens to human beings especially when children are abused um, it's, if it's chronic you know it happens all the time the child will learn that they cannot escape and that they uh, are trapped and will never escape because they never will, never will get away. Um, humans are something like that. You know, humans, like elephants, uh, won't accept anything. Um, you know, even abusers, uh, we accept them because they are our parents, our uncles, aunts, pastors and we we decide we cannot get away and so we we accept the situation instead of moving instead of fighting until you get free um, another good example is a, a bird in a cage if a bird lives in a cage all its life if sometimes well most of the time if you open the door to the cage the bird won't fly away because it's, it's not comfortable out there it's comfortable in the cage you understand what I'm saying? Human beings are that way. Adults, I mean, are that way too. It translates that that kind of behavior translates into uh, uh, not not trying to succeed in life, not even attempting to become to become our dreams, to to uh, follow our dreams, because we've we're tied to that tree. We think we're tied to the tree, you see. Um, but you can't overcome learned helplessness with the help of a therapist. It's one of those things that you need help with. Uh, you have to first recognize that something else, something like this is going on, thus this video. Um, and recognize that with the therapist's help that you can get free. You aren't stuck. You can move forward. I know I was like this for a long time. When I went to the nursing home that I lived in for seven and a half years, for a while, I fought it. I wanted, didn't see anything, didn't, and I didn't see any way out. Um, it was just, I, I felt I was stuck. But you know, after a while, that nursing home became home, became my comfort zone. Even though I wasn't comfortable there, it became my comfort zone. Until one day, with the help of a therapist, I decided the cage door was open and I was going to fly away, and I did. Uh, now I'm reaching for my dreams, and I'm getting there, so but sure. <laughs> anyway, if you recognize yourself in any of this, maybe it's time to uh, talk to a therapist about it. Ask them about learned helplessness. Ask them how they can help you not be that way anymore. And uh, now for a little lighter thing, a lighter talk. Um, there's a lady called Eva Marie who uh, posts videos on DID on her, on her, on YouTube. Now, she's really nice. She's done two books of mine, uh, uh, talked about them on her website. And I wanted to talk, tell you about her, 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 uh, uh, videos are non-triggering, they're truthful, um, and I enjoy 
hearing from her. Um, I included her uh, YouTube address to her channel in the comments, and I'd like you to go visit just at least once and say hi. <laughs> you know, leave her a comment. She's doing marvelous work. I mean, like I say, I've included her YouTube address in the comments. And also my email address if you want to get hold of me. And my blog site, which I will get the link to the Learn Helplessness uh, paper to you. Okay? Alrighty. You have a good Sunday. You have a good week. And I will talk with you later. Bye-bye.